Binds for controller players are maybe the most important factor to being good at Fortnite. So here are some great binds for every type of controller player. Starting with the most common type of player, those that don't use claw or paddles and they hold the controller just like this. Starting with the D-pad, we got inventory, emote, crouch slide repair on right D-pad, and then place marker. L3 is going to be your switch mode, while touchpad is going to be your edit. I'll explain that one in just a sec. R3 is going to be the jump. And then for the face buttons, we got X for map, circle for sprint, and then the square reload and triangle pickaxe. We also can't forget about the build and edit controls. Silver and build controls, what changes is change materials and traps is on down D-pad. Rotate repair and change trap is on X. And then square is going to be the trap picker place. Then for edit controls, the two big ones are reset and confirm, which reset is going to be on R1 and confirm is going to be on L2. Now you might be thinking, how are you supposed to edit with touchpad if you're not playing claw? And the answer is that you essentially click the touchpad from the top. Loads of pros do this and basically on either L1 or R1, you simply slide your index finger a little further and then it's not quite claw but you're literally just clicking the top of the touchpad down it's actually even a lot easier to do on ps4 controller but these binds in specific are from pro ps5 player jays and he's able to do it just fine so i don't really think it's that big of a deal to learn actually just like sitting here right now is pretty easy to learn but if you wanted to use an xbox one controller you could go ahead and swap out a for switch mode meaning you can now put edit on l3 and then that frees up your select button for map not quite as optimized as playstation but it's hard to do that without a touchpad next we have another large player base and that's gonna be the right hand claw players. Loads of great players use this exact technique. So here's what I found to be the most optimized bind. D-pad for these ones starts on inventory, place marker, map, and then emo. Really a lot of not important actions over here. Tactical sprint and auto sprint is on L3. Edit once again is on touchpad. R3 is gonna be crouch slide repair. And because this is claw, these buttons are really accessible, meaning you can put actions like jump on X. Circle again is not showing up, but circle is switch mode. And then the default reload interact square and pickaxe on triangle. Once again, we can't forget about the build control where change trap and materials is on left D-pad. Rotate repair change trap is on R3. The trap picker thing is on square. And then for edit controls, we have reset on R3 and confirming that reset will be confirm on circle. Once again, these settings are kind of more meant for like PS4 and PlayStation players as they do come from Reet who uses the PS4 controller. But you could also use them on an Xbox controller by just changing a couple binds. So instead of the touchpad edit, we have the Xbox select button on map, we'd put on an L3 edit, and then we could put tactile sprint on right D-pad. Again, these are not quite as optimized, but they are still going to get you into a good spot. Moving on to double claw, which I think is a crazy technique, but it definitely works. The most optimized binds are going to come from the best controller player, in my opinion, in the entire world, which, take your guesses now, is Miro, of course. The most optimized double claw binds start on D-pad with up being place marker, left map, right inventory, down emo. L3 is switch mode, touch pad is edit once again. R3 is crouch slide repair. And then once again, this is double claw. So literally every single button is super accessible on the controller. X is going to be on jump. Circle you can't see again, but that's going to be on tactical sprint. Square is going to be reload and triangle is going to be pickaxe. Then if we move over to the build controls, what changes here is right D-pad goes to change materials and trap. And trap picker place and interact is going to be on square. The edit controls on these binds gets a little funky, but Miro knows what he's doing, so I trust him. He's going to have reset on L L1. He's gonna have select on R1 and confirm on R2. So definitely some funky stuff switching these two up, but I guess it works well for him. And what do you know? This is another touchpad edit. Seems to be kind of a theme going on here. But for you Xbox players, we can run it back again. Xbox players can go ahead and substitute that touchpad edit for an L3 edit. You can put crouch slide repair on B, meaning switch mode can go on R3. Sprint can go to left D-pad, and map can go back to its default location on select. That'll get you to a similar spot, although I don't think people actually play double claw on xbox i don't know how that's really possible because this could just be another alternative for the right claw players and now we hit paddles which i think are pretty popular i mean it is what i started using when i first wanted to start improving so the two paddle setup definitely holds a spot in my heart and let's check out the most optimized binds for the d-pad on these binds it's gonna be inventory up place marker left sprint right emote down this right off the rip is an l3 edit so xbox players can actually copy these exact binds and have no issue because all we're using touchpad for anyway is map r3 is going to be crouch slide repair x is going to be jump circle is going to be switch mode but those are actually going to be your two paddles so right paddle will be set to x and left paddle will be set to circle then we'll have square reload triangle pickaxe on the build controls we're going to have change materials and traps on left d-pad trap picker place and interact is on square edit controls reset is going to be r1 and then confirm is actually going to be circle as well so that left paddle is going to be switch mode 
and confirm. And these specific binds are going to come from maybe the best controller fighter in all of the game, who happens to be Cam FM. Finally, we get to my personal favorite technique, which is four paddles. I personally switched from two paddles to four paddles, and it was a great decision for me. So here are my most optimized four paddle binds. These binds D pad is going to start out upping inventory, left being sprint, right place marker, down emo. The switch mode is going to be on L3, crouch is going to be on R3, which I will say right now, I'm actually not using this. I have this switch. What I'm used to right now is not the most optimal bind. The most optimal binds is going to be switch mode on L3, crouch and R3. With touchpad being map, meaning you Xbox players with four paddles can do the exact same thing. And over on the main face buttons, we got X, jump, we got circle on edit, square is reload, triangle is pickaxe. Now for the four paddles. First, we're going to start with your two paddles that are easiest to click. On this controller for me, it's those top two buttons on either side, but a ton of different controllers have different paddle layouts, so it's whatever two are the easiest to click. You're going to set one of those paddles to X, and you're going to set the other paddle that's easy to click to circle. So those are going to be your jump and edit paddles. Now you have two other paddles, and you're going to set one of those other paddles to pickaxe, which is triangle. And the last paddle you're going to set to sprint, which is left D-pad. Now we're going to move over to the build controller, where change materials and traps is on D-pad. Trap picker place interact is going to be on square. And that leads us to the edit controls, where reset is going to be R3, and then confirm is going to be left D-pad. But remember, your paddle is also left D-pad. So that last paddle is going to be sprint and confirm on the same one. Even though I haven't won any big tournaments like every single one of these other vines, I still think these are super optimized vines that work great. And if you put in enough work on them, you can definitely get just as insane as any of the other vines in this video. In fact, let me go show you. <laughs> Let's go. When you're looking at controller binds, you really want to put the most important actions on the most accessible binds. Meaning like your switch mode, your edit, your jump, those are going to be your most important actions. So those are the buttons that you're going to want on your sticks and the buttons that you can click like if you're playing claw. Let's go. To find all the binds in this video, essentially what I did is pick the best player from every single category. The best player from the right claw, the best player from the double claw. Each of those categories, I picked the best player and used the best player's binds. And just coincidentally, every single one of those players ended up being PS4, PS5 controller players. I'm not saying Xbox players are worse, but if we're talking about optimized binds, I think PS4 and PS5 players might take the cake. That's the beauty of paddles. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, I'm crazy right now. Well, those are the most optimized bonds for every single type of Fortnite player, at least on controller. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe if this video helped you. And if you want to support a little further, you can use my creator code CAR2K in the item shop. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to catch you in a future video.